This RAM kit here from V-Color has four sticks. Two of them are fake and two of them work. And I think it's a great idea. What the heck are you talking about? Well, they also sent this random thing, which I have no idea what that is. Ender 2 RGB stick? I don't know. Well, let's talk. Looking for a cheap way to license your windows? Check out WhoKeys through the links in the video description. Make sure to use the code TN20 to get a 30% off. Paste the license to the activation settings and you're all done. This license is for Windows 10, but you can upgrade it to Windows 11 for free. They also offer Microsoft Office 19 license. Use the same code TN20 to get a 30% off. Check out WhoKeys.com in the video description below. So first of all, the DDR5 over here. This kit is from Manta Gaming Memory. That's RAM doesn't mean that it's gaming RAM. And this is from V Color, okay? And there is black and white versions available. This is the white kit over here. And this runs at 6,000 mega transfers. Okay, inside the box, you have uh, two boxes. So one of them here says DDR5, a dim slot only. And then this is the actual RAM on this one. As you can see, filler kit and this one. So why do you have two fake and two real ones? Well, in a moment, you can see that basically having an XMP working on a DDR5 on the 12th gen bat platform. Ooh, look at that. That is gorgeous white RAM over here. Can you see that? That's amazing. But to have XMP work on your DDR5 platform is very hard with four sticks enabled. But then with two sticks, it's much easier to have like higher frequency like 6000 or even 5200 mega transfers per second actually uh, work it's, it's quite easy these are like filler kits non DRAM but then if you still want the kind of aesthetic of four sticks of RAM and rather than having like two sticks which looks kind of like half of the teeth are missing this will make quite a lot of sense I've got this system over here and I've got some DDR5 plugged in here, which I'm going to take out. This is the Kingston Fury Beast. That Kingston Fury Beast, four sticks, I was able to run at 4,800 megahertz. But this over here, I should be able to run at 6,000 uh, mega transfers. So let's see if that works. So this is very nice white memory. So if you're looking for white kit of RAM, there aren't a lot of, um, you know, options available. I know that the aesthetics aren't like the best on this PC build, but I've got this set up so it's the easiest to actually make this all work and see it all working. Now these are the real sticks that have been installed and now here we have the uh, fake sticks. And if you look closely you can see that uh, none of them actually have any of the connectors of the actual slot. There's only like four connectors in the end of the dim slot. So that's where the RGB gets really transferred. So I'm just going to slot these in here as well. And look at that. We have the beautiful four sticks of beautiful RGB white DDR5 RAM installed. But before we're going to turn this on, I want to know what on earth is this here as well. So this is some kind of a M.2 RGB kit or RGB. What on earth is this for? Literally just an RGB stick stick or something like that. I think I've got an idea what we're going to do with this. So I'm actually going to take the GPU out over here. This is the Asus RTX 3080. It's just in the way for us at the moment. Have you seen this video yet? Go check out the video. But because we have integrated graphics in there, we can actually use the iGPU to actually turn this on and see how it works. So what I want to do is take this cover off and now plug this guy in there. And I just want to see what on earth is going on in there. This connector kind of doesn't even properly work. So I'm going to leave it just like that. This is going to work. <laughs> Look at that. What on earth is this? So basically, instead of putting an actual NVMe M.2 drive for your, you know, M.2 slot, um, why don't you just have this RGB little stick for your M.2? I mean, it's interesting. Absolutely useless. But for those who think RGB gives you HP, then uh, I guess that works. So then here we are inside the system 
uh, as you can see, we're running two slots out of four used, 6,000 megahertz. That's the fastest RAM I have used, fastest DDR5 I've ever used. You don't actually have to use the dummy slots in order to get this working. But at the moment, I'm trying to see if I can get those RGB sticks actually seen in the armory crate of asus's app it looks looks like my armory crate is up to date it's the latest version if i go to um aura devices we can see that we have the motherboard here and then we have an led strip which is here this one and then everything on the mod well i've selected all if i go to aura effects and if we go to for example static color if we go to blue only this psu here and the aio cover here turns blue but none of these things so they don't actually um, come up at the moment the interesting thing is if i'm looking at the v color um, website and this manta ddr5 uh, kit then it says that it is asus aura sync uh, gigabyte rgb fusion biostar sync msi mystic like sync uh, asrock polychrome sync so it should work with all of these rgb softwares but i don't know why is it not working for me? I do think it's an interesting RAM kit, an interesting idea, and I think there should be more options like this available for every every single piece of you know RAM because I think this looks much nicer with four um, sticks in there rather than two, and to have this fast RAM as well, it's amazing. For create this though, I think 32 gigabytes is like the absolute minimum you want to go for. You want to go with like 64 gigabytes and above. If you're doing very simple stuff and maybe simpler photo editing or simpler timelines for video editing, then 32 gigabytes is fine. But I'd really like to see a 64 gigabyte kit. So if I had two sticks, for example, and then each of them is 32 gigabytes in size or capacity, then I'd get 64 gigabytes and I'd be much happier with that type of capacity. But at the moment, I do wish that uh, I could control this RGB VOM because I'm not a big fan of this RGB VOM type of thing that's going on. So in conclusion, I think the RAM is interesting. I like the idea of having two dummy sticks because of the you know aesthetics you're gonna get i'm not happy about the uh, aura sync so like the rgb i can't control this m.2 stick i think is completely random like if you make an rgb stick like let it be completely rgb why have a massive v color sticker on the top of there i think this makes it like very very low quality i don't know i personally am not a, like a big fan of rgb stuff i mean would be interesting to know if maybe if it works on like an e external enclosure or something like that i don't know would make much more sense if it was some kind of heat sink for the actual m.2 as well but at the moment it's literally taking just an one m.2 slot off the motherboard so you can have a little bit of rgb i don't know i'm not a big fan i want to run the photoshop benchmark with the xmp on and xmp off because that is actually um quite a big difference in terms of like the ram speed and in photoshop when you're editing with photos it does make a lot of difference whether you have fast ram or not so i'm gonna put the um, asus rtx 3080 back here so give me a minute i'm gonna run the two photoshop benchmarks with xmp and without xmp so we can actually see the difference of the xmp and how much um, does it change so then okay i've got the benchmarks done for the photoshop and interestingly i've got some uh, very interesting results here and if you're a creator these are especially important for you so on the left side we have the um, xmb enabled at 6000 megahertz and then on the right side we have 4800 megahertz so basically in here, as you can see, the difference isn't that different. And uh, the 4800 MHz one over here is actually getting slightly better filter score, which I think could be like the margin of error. And I'd expect the 6000 MHz one to get that as well in here. But the interesting thing is that the GPU score on the 6000 MHz is much higher than the uh, 4800 megahertz like about 10 points better which could be because it's using the igpu in some of the things as well inside there and because of the 6000 megahertz um ram is also used in uh, as you know system memory and the um, gpu memory when using the igpu it could be that that's why it's much faster in the GPU there because we're just using the Asus Noctua RTX 3080 in here. Check it out in the description below, by the way. And that's not going to be like any different as you can see RTX 3080. So the 6000 megahertz is faster. It's about 1.2% faster in here in the initial like two benchmarks that I did. Is this worth it for creators? 
not really but the ddr5 is compared to ddr4 and ddr5 there is quite a bit of a difference so if you're gonna go with ddr5 you don't really need to worry about kind of the frequency at the moment because 6000 and 4800 megahertz they perform within like few percent of each other obviously if you uh, do multiple tests we could see a little bit more data and see it but initially what i can see here that's the difference so if you do buy ram for your creator pc but as a creator rather get four sticks maybe run them not in xmp like a simple crucial like ddr5 with 4800 megahertz and then the four sticks in there and then you could get 128 gigabytes and then look at that it would perform pretty much the same as 6000 megahertz but then you would have the advantage of capacity and also because of the four sticks of ram it also adds more channels so basically ddr5 works a little bit differently than ddr4 so if you have two sticks it's kind of like four channels and then if you have four sticks it kind of has like eight channels because like one stick or the way it works like per stick it's got like a two kind of um separate uh, barrels how it transfers data so that's just interesting kind of and um nuance of uh ddr5 anyway interesting to check this out this manta ddr5 uh, memory if you want to check this out or this kit out i'm going to leave it in the description below thanks guys for watching likes and subs and i'll see you soon bye bye